Y'all remember when Crime Mob really had the club tore up? Because I was trying to figure out what was going on. So I talked to the homie Lil J. I was like, dude, I didn't even expect this from you. And he's like, yo, what you mean you ain't expect this from me? I'm a gat toting, piss a holding homie on the dang street. I've been stumping, jumping, bumping, and I'm crunking this dang thing. You should already know about me because you know we going to get it started. Especially if they starting with us, we going to get it started because Ellen will be the hardest. And you know we got to sit there and represent where we from. I'm like, all right, that's cool. But why are you doing all that? And now I'm looking at Princess. I'm like, look, like where was you at in this whole thing? How? Like, how was you feeling? Like, you know how I'm feeling. You know what I was doing. I was knucking and bucking and ready to fight. And I saw some haters over there thinking they're going to do something. I told them they better think twice. Ain't nothing nice over here because I'm about to cause the dest the destruction of, like, world dictators. So you better leave me alone. And I'm like, well, why did it have to get there? She said, why did it? Because I told him to leave me alone. I told him enough is enough, boy. He got rough. He got stuff. I told him that luck was a must. So knuck if you buck. And he didn't knuck if he bucked. And then I'm looking at MIG, and I'm like, don't worry, I saw you. I saw you jumping off from on the stage, throwing bows like Johnny Cage. And don't think I didn't see you and your homies trying to tear down that barricade. He's like, man, what can I say? I'm flawless, I'm lawless, and these dudes are get jawless getting close to me because I told them to back up. And now I'm also, Diamond come in out of nowhere. I'm like, well, Diamond, where you been at? I didn't even see you come in the club. And she's like, yeah, I came in the club. I came in the club shaking my dress, throwing these bows and busting these heads. And I done been in this before, especially by how mines, I done been in there committing the crime not leaving the trace and not even leaving leaving the line so they didn't even know i was there because at the end of the day i'm gonna waste you if you mess with my crew and if you're talking about me then guess what i'm talking to you and that's how it's going to go down and that's when killer c come in it's like it's simple if you're going knuck and buck then you better be equipped because i got something in the trunk that'll end up making a body flip because i look crime mob this is what we do i ain't never been a punk i ain't never been a lame and i ain't never been scared to throw them things man so that's on them at that that point in time so now the moral of the story that i got from it is if you're around crime mob do not have an attitude and seem like you buck because if you seem like you buck they're gonna tell you to knuck and if you don't knuck if you buck then they're gonna knuck if they buck and if you don't buck back with, uh, with the knuck then you stuck like chuck what i get from it